if I told you that the things you're doing from when you rise up out of bed in the morning and uh, when you go to bed at night, the task you're doing in between is exactly what's keeping your bank accounts not looking as pretty as you want them to do. If I told you that there are certain tasks you're doing that's stopping you from living a life that you want to live or having how much money you want to have, would you put the car in reverse or would you keep driving off the freaking cliff to crash in a brutal death? You understand? Financially anyways, right? There are certain tasks you're doing that are not in your favor as far as making money. And I'm going to help you show you some of the IPAs that I focus on. All right. Don't forget, I have students and combination of my students and myself, we've made millions. We've had 80 to a hundred thousand dollar product launch weeks without any ad spend or overhead and employees. All right. We've done all type of course launches, uh, drop service and students, high ticket drop service and students making six figures in a month and all of this extra stuff. So we do this, right? So there are tasks that we do that allow us to make the money and still have a life afterwards. Okay. So which IPAs produce the most profitable IPAs to stop being broke? Now you might be confused because I say IPAs twice. Well, there are two different definitions. All right. So definition number one, income producing activities. And that's what I was talking about. When you wake up in the morning, some of you guys go to a nine to five job. That would be considered an income producing activity if you like being a wage slave or an employee, if you want to call it that. But there are also other activities you can do if you're an entrepreneur. So number one on my list is buying already monetized assets. Okay. And we're going to go into some of those assets in the second definition. All right. But that is a task. That's an activity. Buying already monetized assets. B creating assets for instant monetization. So that's two different things. You'll notice how I said buy one that's already, you know, that these are already created, right? But if I want them tailored to my brand, another income producing as uh, uh, activity would be to create assets. You say, well, like, how's that an income producing activity? Well, you need a, an asset to monetize, right? So you're either going to buy one or you're going to create one. I'm going to buy some that's already monetized because that gives me the leg up on, you know, being broke and all of that. I don't have to sit and wait to make money while I create them. Right. So if I buy some that's already monetized, then now that gives me a little bit of leeway and freedom to go and create the products that I actually want to create from scratch. All right. And then I prepare them for instant monetization opportunities, which is what's next. All right. So you'll see C says interviews for leveraged sales. OK, so that is an income producing activity doing interviews. Why? Because if you're very strategic and you have value uh, in your business or you have value that you can trade with people and everything like that, then you can get some of these interviews without paying anything. Right. Without having to pay for the interview or whatever. And if they have an audience that trust their word and they have authority, then you'll make money from that interview probably sometimes the same day. Like I've experienced this, a lot of my students, when I interview them, they get money the same damn day. So interviews for leverage sales, that is an income producing activity. I strongly recommend you guys to hire somebody uh, or, or contract somebody to just get you interviews, okay? All right, now next on the list, is integration partnership creation. Those are income producing activities. For example, if I have a course in affiliate marketing, um, uh, no, no, I have, this is a good example right here. I have an affiliate network. It's called Anti-Job Affiliate Army, right? And if I want to recruit new affiliates to go and promote my offers on there right there without having to spend ad money on uh, Facebook ads and stuff like that, then what I can do is I can partner with affiliate marketers that have their own ebooks or courses. And what they can do is plug in my affiliate network inside their courses. So when they're teaching people to promote products, affiliate products, they'll name me like, hey, log in to your AJ uh, uh, anti-job affiliate army uh, account get this offer right here. We're going to run some Facebook ads, blah, blah, blah. So if I plug in my affiliate network to all of the affiliates that have their own courses, 
coaching programs and the eBooks, I'm getting unlimited amount of referral traffic and uh, profits from what their affiliates are going to do on my platform and everything like that. So those are why, that's why those are income producing activities, creating integration partnerships. You should obsess over those as I will this year. OK, so now. Second definition on this list is income producing assets. All right. So IPA, IPA. So what you want to do is do income producing activities so that you can afford to acquire income producing assets. OK, now watch this. OK, so these are like billionaire secrets. Am I a billionaire? Not yet, but this is the track to get there. OK, now this is usually something you would pay 20, 30, 50 K to learn. All right. Um, so websites that uh, uh, websites with existing traffic from Google and social referral traffic that are monetized already with ads and products. You can find those on websites like Flippa.com and uh, EmpireBuilders.com and stuff like that. Um, and they'll show you the amount of traffic that the websites are getting. But you be careful, though, because there's a lot of scams on there. They can juice up the traffic for a week or two and show you the analytics. And you're like, oh, man, this is getting some money, right? <laughs> so be careful. You can uh, purchase a website uh, for $4,000 and run up the SEO on that mug, really get it ranking for something, you know what I'm saying? So make it a national site and then flip that mug for a couple million, right? All right, so now check this out. But the good thing about this, guys, is it's all leverage. Why do I say that? Because as soon as I purchase these uh, income producing assets, already monetized assets, it's already making me my money, giving me my money back since it's already monetized, okay? All right, so boom, number or letter B. Uh, income producing asset, non-branded social media accounts, non-branded social media accounts that are already monetized. So like we first just talked about the websites on Google, you see the ads on the websites. Well, guess what? If I purchase uh, YouTube channels that are already monetized, they already have a thousand subscribers. Um, you know what I'm saying? The ads are already activated and all of that extra stuff. I can just like rebrand it and everything and use them as an extra distribution channel to upload clips of my other videos from my main channels and stuff like that. Boom. So that's instant monetization, instant, like, like instant money coming in. Right. So <laughs> crazy. Right. So if you bought, let's say you got your main channel, like I have anti-job university, you bought. Uh, you took a thousand bucks and you buy 10 already monetized YouTube channels. They don't have to be 200,000 subscribers or nothing like that. It can be channels that are churn and burn or they just got monetized. It doesn't matter. So you can get them for 80 bucks, 100 bucks, 200, 500 bucks, depending on how many subscribers you want and how legitimate you want, uh, legitimate you want them to be. All right. So guess what? Now you can take your content from your main channel or you can have a, a VA or somebody take the content from your main channel redistribute uh the all the content and the clips and stuff from uh, on all those 10 monetized channels and you can pay the VA that's doing that with the AdSense money that are on all those monetized channels that you purchased that are already monetized that way is zero uh <laughs> expense to you to uh to hire the VA right you're paying the VA with the already monetized channel AdSense crazy right all right so now C online audiences over 10,000 members. Okay. So that is an income producing asset. So what do I mean? The audience probably doesn't have ads in it or anything like that. So how is it, how is it an income producing asset? Well, guess what? If you do this strategically and you uh, have the, uh, the previous owner of that audience uh, smooth you in kind of like when the business is going through new management, right? They'll, uh, introduce themselves as the new owner of the building and they'll show up to watch you guys work for a couple of weeks, but you will still get to see the old supervisor or manager or whatever, or owner and stuff like that. And, and see you guys get used to the new guy and then the old owner just dip out. That's what happens a lot when you acquire a business, like they'll uh, stay on after you uh, paid them for the business and they'll train you and introduce you to the staff, get everybody used to you, get you used to the operations and stuff. The same thing happens online. You can purchase Facebook groups, uh, LinkedIn groups, uh, school communities. You can purchase all of this stuff 
and you can have them introduce you and smooth you in and then you own these audiences from now on so now anything that you want to uh, uh introduce to them whatever product it is like that if you've also acquired that trust and credibility as you acquired that group now you can ju you just instead of you building a community to ten thousand dollars from scratch i mean to ten thousand members from scratch now you can just distribute whatever products or sales or webinars you got straight to that damn community instant traffic right there boom all right so now we're going to take it offline with d d pause you can acquire offline businesses that are profitable but need a boost all right so they might need guidance they might need seo they might need to uh level up social media they might want to increase sales and and then open another loop location, all different types of stuff. So you can figure out how to buy into it using your skill sets and your highly valued, you know, assets that you have already and everything like that. So that's a way of just jumping straight into a, an income stream that's already produ uh, productive, right? Already profitable and everything. So everything I talked about today right here is leverage based, leverage, leverage, leverage. And this is how you're going to start snowballing your income until it becomes an avalanche and you can't even stop it to where you couldn't be broke if you wanted to. All right. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. In the first pin comments, you will see a, a plethora of opportunities for you to sign up to to stop being broke, right? So that you can start making some money and being real with this. Love you guys.